Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the third video in the series on using Hugging Face data sets. Today we're going to have a look at how we can include images in our data sets. So it will look kind of like this data set here. So this is James Callum image text demo. This is what we're going to recreate. So we're going to have the images here. You can see that you within like the data set preview, you get this nice little widget where you actually see the image. And then we're also going to have some text here, but that's not so, not so important. Uh, but you can scroll through and there's all these different images that are loaded and we're going to learn how to do the same thing. So we'll come over to a notebook and the first thing we're going to do is actually get the images uh, from that same data set. Okay, so uh, from data sets, import load data set. And we're just going to load that data set. So data equals load data set. And that will be the same as what you have up here. So we can copy this and it will be the train split. Okay, it might take a little while to download if you haven't downloaded it before. So you have text and the image. So from here, what we can do is actually go into the first item. So we go row zero and look at that image. Okay, and then we actually get the image from that data set. Now to do that, we have to do something slightly different, just including the data within a JSON lines file, because obviously a image you can't include in JSON lines file unless you use like the image bytes, which will not load in this way. You, you would have to do some extra processing steps in order to actually view an image if you did that. So how do we do it in this way where we actually just get this, this nice image? Well, the first thing we're going to need to do is actually create a tar file where we will take all of our images and put them into this compressed file and that file will be hosted. You can host it in different places, but we're going to host it on Hugging Face in this example. So let's get started by creating, or that we'll download each one of these files and we're gonna create a, a tar file from them. So first thing I'm gonna do is just import OS. So right now we're just preparing the data uh, to actually create this data set for. So I'm gonna do OS, make directory, I'm just going to create a new directory called images, um, if it doesn't already exist. So we'll say if OS path exists, and we want dot images in there, then create it, but yeah, I also want to make this if not. Okay. And then after that, what I want to do is iterate through each one of these images and just save them to file. So let's create that first. And let's see how we can do that. So we will go, so zero image, so data, zero image. And let's have a look at what that image is. So it's going to be a, we'll see, pill image object. And what we want to do is actually save that. So we just do, if I remember correctly, image dot save, it just showed me. And yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Now, if I have a look in my file explorer, over here we see that we have images, and then here we have zero dot JPEG. Open this, and we have that image. So, what we want to do now is just repeat that logic for every item in that data set. So for i in range len of that data set, we are going to do exactly what it says here. So yeah, we can add, it might take a little bit of time because it needs to load every image and each image is, is pretty big. So I'm going to do from tqdm.auto import tqdm. So I'm not just blindly waiting. tqdm, this is just a progress bar so we can see what is actually happening. Oh, and we need to do from, not import. Okay, it doesn't take too long. Great, so now within that directory, we should see a, a ton of images. So let's have a look, we'll just do OS list there. 
Okay, and we can see that we have all of these. I think it's 21 in total. Yeah, it goes up to 20, starts at zero. So we have 21. So that is all of our images that are downloaded. And now what we want to do is go ahead and compress them all into a tar file. So how do we do that? Well, I think we had a look at this already in the previous video. So if we come here, we can kind of see this. So we come down, let's have a look. Pretty much this right here. Now I'm not sure if that will work for a directory, but let's, let's try. So we tell our open and we want images. Add images. Let's see. Okay, so I think that has worked okay. Let's try and open this, so double click. And okay, let's see what we have in there. Yeah, we have everything we need. Great, so that has compressed correctly. So that's all we need to actually build our data set. So now what I want to do is add this to what will be our Hugging Face data sets directory. And we'll also add a data set loading script. So data set loading script, let's go ahead and copy that from the previous video. And then we'll just modify it from there. So we have this, we're gonna copy, and I'm gonna paste it in here. Okay, we'll come down to here. Cool, so we have all of these features here, which are the expected features within our data set. Now this is going to consist of two items. We have the text, which is a kind of like the text description of the image, and then we also have the image itself. So let's modify this a little bit. We're gonna have text, and then we're gonna have image. Okay, and we'll delete the rest, because we don't need those. And then for the value of this feature here, we're not going to use a string, obviously. We're going to use a special one, which is just called image. So we use that, and then what we can do is we can modify this and say the home page is it's not this. So if I just use a previous location, basically, hungingface.co datasets, James Callam, and this would be image text demo. Now let's come down here and we will need to modify this as well. So we will need to download and extract that tar file. So to get started, let's just go ahead and actually upload that to Hugging Face so we can see the actual URL for that file. So we'll come over here, we're gonna create a new data set. I'm just gonna call it like image demo for now. Uh, I'll keep it public briefly before I remove it. And what I'm gonna do is just go to files, I'm going to add file, and we are going to use the tar file that we just created, so images.tar. So I'll drag this in here, so images.tar.gz, add that, and I'm gonna commit those changes. Okay, so in here we now have this file, let's click on here, and what I want to do is this download button here, just right click, and we're gonna copy link address. That's gonna be our URL. So do we have, okay, URL here. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it into this. Okay, so Hung Face CO, image demo resolve, and then we have images tar GZ. Okay, so we have an iterable object that will go through the compressed file and iteratively extract items from it. So what we will do is say, let's call it image iters, and this will be DL manage iter archive path, like that. Okay, that's perfect. And then in here, we're going to be returning, we're going to be having the list, we still have the split generator, we still have the split train. The only thing that will change is this. So instead of file path here, we're gonna, we're gonna call it images, which just means here, we're going to change this to images and that will be equal to the image it is item, okay? Or iterable object. Okay, so 
those are our images and then the last thing to do is actually rewrite this object and generate examples now here what i want to do is I'm going to open the file so with open this is going to be different <laughs> so let's change it um so we're going to iterate through the images iterate through images So for image and images, and what this is going to do is actually include both the file path and the image itself, okay, from this iterable object. So for file path, image and images, what we're going to need to do is extract the text from each item. So the text, maybe like one way of doing this is saving the text within the file name, or another way is just storing another like mapping file, which will map from each row to a particular description. So what we can do for this is actually if I go back into our, into here, so into this Jupyter notebook. And what we can do is we have all the descriptions already. So I'm just going to grab them. So it's going to be data, text, and this is just a list of all the descriptions. I'm just going to use this, okay? So it's probably, you probably, obviously you're not going to do this for a big data set, but this is okay for this example, I think. So it will let me scroll down all the, all the way. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to copy it straight into the code. Okay, and I'll put it up here. So I'm going to call them like descriptions. Okay, and we have all those. And so down here, what we will have is that we will need to yield. So we have a generator object here, so we're using yield. And we need to yield the index value, so IDX, and then we also want to yield those, the items in there. So the image object needs to include the image. Um, well, we'll explain that in a minute. So it's going to be a dictionary where you have the, the file path, which goes to the file path that we just extracted, and then also the image. So the image is going to be what we had there. So image, then we need to read it like this. And then the text is going to be descriptions followed by the index value. So then after that, we just want to do IDX plus equals one, and that will just iterate through the whole thing. So that I believe should be pretty much everything. I'm going to rename this to what do we have like it's an images demo i think by i'm going to rename the file as well so let me open that there and we'll call this images demo as well and now what we want to do head on over to here go to images demo we're going to add file upload files and i'm just going to drag that images demo uh, python file into there Going to commit those changes and we'll just test it to see if we if we've covered everything there. It's probably going to be something missing. So let's go back to our, our notebook, so images data set, and let's try. Let's just try and see if that works. So we'll just copy this again. Come to here. And this one is called, I think, images demo. Let's try that. Okay, what is this? Okay, so I think I've entered the wrong dataset name. Ah, image, image demo without the S. Okay, it's working so far. Okay, one, there's a problem somewhere. Okay, so here there's an error that should read path, not file path. So let me modify that quickly. And in fact, we can actually do it in here. So image demo, we're gonna edit. Let's come down here. So this should be path. And this here it shouldn't be image, it should be bytes. Okay, uh, let's commit those changes. Try again. Okay, we'll come up to here. Let's try again. Let's go. Okay, it looks that looks pretty good. We have the data set description here. Let's try data and zero. Let's see what we have. We have the we have the text. And then we have the image object, and let's go again. Uh, image. Okay, there we go. So we've built our image-enabled hung and face data set. Um, it's, I think, relatively straightforward. Obviously, when you have a lot of 
image files you're going to need to find somewhere to store them so what you will want to do rather than creating a single tar file you will need to create multiple tar files and store your images across those but other than that the logic is pretty much the same as what you've seen here so i hope this has been interesting and useful thank you very much for watching and i will see you again in the next one bye